Hey guys, Adam here with americantrucks.com and today we're taking a closer look at installing and of course listening to the dual exhaust with black tips with both the side and rear exits available for the 09-10 5.4 F-150. Now, as you just heard from our sound clips, guys, I'm gonna give this guy two out of five on our loudness meter. Now, it's something that isn't too overwhelming. It's just a small bump in volume over stock, but definitely a lot deeper and more aggressive. Now, I know there's a ton of exhaust in the category and words like aggressive and deep get thrown around a lot. This guy, in my opinion, is the definition of something simple, nice and aggressive and perfect for the daily driver. If you're looking for something that's gonna bump up volume just a tad so that you can have conversations in the truck, have an easy drive to work and something that doesn't have any drone at highway speeds, this is a great way to go at an affordable cost. Now, before we jump into that, I wanna talk about the exit styles. Exit styles for trucks is something that you definitely wanna pay attention to when shopping for an exhaust for your F-150. Now this guy is cool because it gives you a best of both worlds type of situation. It gives you both a dual exhaust that dumps out the rear like you see here. And then it gives you a dual exhaust that dumps out the sides. So you get to switch up the tips. So you'd basically pull the tip off, the pipe right behind the tip, swap it over for the other exit style and then throw the tip back on. You can do that in about five minutes in the driveway at home. You can swap them out every week if you'd like, just to give you something to switch it up. Now this one comes in at 409 stainless steel for the entire system, three inch inlet, two and a half inch dual outlet coming out of your black powder coated muffler. Now 409 is that middle of the road materials when it comes to construction. 304 being the best quality in the category, aluminized being the cheapest, most affordable option. Middle of the road, good for corrosion and rush resistance without being too expensive like 304. The muffler being black powder coated definitely adds to its corrosion and rust resistance and we'll take a closer look at that later on comparing it to stock. The tips are also black powder coated to match the muffler which is going to help give you a nice stealthy look at the rear but polished is also an option in the category. Now the price comes in right around 500 bucks making it super affordable especially considering the 409 mixed with the dual exits so you get to pick which style you like without having to pick up additional pipes later. Now the install gets two out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. There is a little bit of cutting at least for our truck, but depending on your cab size and bed length combination, you may not need to cut at all. You wanna take a look at the instruction manual when you get that to see where you need to cut, if you need to at all, and how it gets done. We have a super crew with a six and a half foot bed, which required us to cut six inches off of one of the pipes included in the kit. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, takes you about five minutes, but you wanna have a tool you're comfortable with working on. If not, no shame handing it over to a professional to get done properly. It'll take you two, maybe three hours from start to finish. Simple hand tools otherwise, what do you say we get started? Tools used in the install include an impact gun or a ratchet, 10 millimeter deep socket, 10 and 13 swivel sockets are recommended, 15 millimeter deep socket, 10, 15 and 14 millimeter wrenches. Recommended if cutting is required, tape measure and Sharpie along with some eye protection and a cutting tool of your choice such as a Sawzall, PB blaster, and a mallet. All right, first step here, I put a pole jack under the longest pipe portion of our exhaust here just to make sure that when it comes down, it's being supported. Now, if you're working on the ground, not on a lift, you may not need this because you're closer to the ground. Because we're so high up, I don't want this to drop down, so I've got support here. Now, I'm using a 13 millimeter swivel socket to remove the two bolts holding on that factory flange. All right, now at this point, you can try to slide this hanger off of the isolator, but I find it to be easier just to remove the whole thing from the frame. It's just two bolts here, two 10 millimeters. I'm gonna use my 10 swivel for this. And this is where having that support pole jack comes in handy. All right, at this point, you can take the whole exhaust off in one piece by sliding out the two remaining hangers. So we got our factory exhaust off of our 10.5.4 and it's on the ground next to our dual exhaust from Rough Country. And let's talk about some similarities and differences here. Starting at the front of the vehicle, you'll notice that your factory diameter tubing is a lot smaller than your new option here from Rough Country. This is about 
two and a quarter to two and a half inch diameter, whereas your new exhaust is a three inch diameter, at least on the inlet side. It does come with a new flange pipe to help it adapt to your factory headers as well, so no cutting or welding or anything like that is necessary. You'll see this extension pipe there on the side. Now that is for certain cab size and bed length combos. Not all models will need that. Some will just use the extension pipe there. Your muffler you can see is a huge difference compared to the factory one. This guy's a huge bullet style muffler, a couple of feet long, whereas your new Rough Country muffler is not only black, but it's also significantly smaller. This guy's about a foot long, has a dual outlet with a single inlet. That one's gonna give you a small bump in horsepower and torque considering the less airflow restriction involved. It's also got the black coating. Now the black coating is gonna go a long way for corrosion and rust resistance. The entire system here is 409 stainless steel, which is that middle of the road category when it comes to quality of materials. Not as durable as 304, but with the muffler having that black powder coating, it adds another layer of protection right where you need it most. Now the dual outlet goes into two and a half inch diameter tubing, so it steps down from the three to two and a half uh, for the dual exit. Now the dual exit is gonna curve right around your spare tire carrier, uh, which of course is a little bit more convenient, and then it leads into the biggest difference of all. Now not only is this a dual exit converted from a single side exit, but it's gonna give you the option of what exit style you prefer, and you can change it up whenever you want. You'll see at the back end there before our tips, we have two sets of pipes on each side. One set of those pipes on the outside dumps out behind both rear tires. Your factory exhaust, of course, just dumps out behind the passenger side rear tire. So duplicating that there for a nice aggressive finish, or you have your option of the dual rear exit, which instead goes straight back under the rear bumper. Now, that one gives you more of a muscle car and muscle truck look, whereas the side exits are a more traditional truck look, but still a lot more aggressive than the factory one. Now those tips are slash cut four inch double walled tips, also powder coated in black to match the muffler. And they're a lot more aggressive than your factory option. And honestly, a lot more aggressive than some of the other ones in the aftermarket category. Your factory exhaust didn't have a tip at all. It was just bare pipe that just ended. Uh, seemed pretty unfinished from the factory. Switching over to those black tips are gonna add a nice level of stealth and aggression as well. Huge difference to appearance. Now, when we get to installation, guys, I'm gonna take you all the way through the system. When we get to the tips, I'm gonna show you guys first off the split side exit, and then I'll show you guys how to swap that over in case you wanted to do that at any point. It's just a couple of bolts there, or a couple of clamps, rather, and we'll swap them over. For now, let's start at the front end. All right, first step, grab your flange pipe, and you're gonna install that onto the cat pipe here. Now, you're gonna take the new bolt included in the kit and put that guy through. And then you're gonna take a washer and a nut and put it on the other end. All right, so that'll hold that in position for now. Grab the other bolt and do the same thing. I just like to tighten them all the way by hand, just so I know uh, exactly that it's gonna be holding itself in exactly where we need it to be. All right, and now you can tighten it down with your 15 socket and wrench. All right, next up we're gonna put our uh, extension pipe here. That's gonna go right inside of the flange pipe. You wanna make sure you have a clamp on the end of that too. All right, grab your 15 socket and tighten it down. Next up, we're gonna reinstall our hanger isolator back onto the free. Now, before we install our muffler, you need to determine if you need this extension pipe. Now, we do need it for our Super Crew 2010 with the six and a half foot bed. If you have the five and a half foot bed, you don't need it. Uh, so you wanna make sure you're checking with the install instructions to make sure uh, whether you need it or not. Now, if you have a Super Crew six and a half bed like we do, we have to cut six inches off of this pipe here in order to get it to fit. So I've got my tape measure here at the end, not the open-ended here. This is the part that's gonna connect to the pipe this is the part that we need to cut. All right, so I'm measuring six inches up. I'm just gonna mark six inches on this side, six inches on that side, 
and that way I know exactly where I need to cut. So let's head over to our saw. All right, so we're set up here. I got my six inch mark still good. You wanna make sure you're measuring twice, cutting once. You don't really get a do over here. So once you have it set up, you're good to go. Next up, we're gonna install the cut pipe that we just made. Now, I'm gonna use the hanger clamp included in the kit. Slide that guy into the hanger on the frame that we transferred over and connect to the pipes. All right, once you have that down there, make sure the hanger is angled appropriately and tighten it down. All right, next up, let's throw our muffler on, making sure that you have a clamp on the inlet. All right, next up, we're gonna start on our passenger side and install the over axle pipe. We're gonna grab one of the smaller clamps and insert it over the muffler outlet. All right, so next we can connect our over axle pipe by putting it through the hanger over the axle and then into the outlet for the muffler. All right, next up we actually have to install an additional hanger and isolator onto our frame on our driver's side since the factory exhaust was not a dual. Grab this U-nut clip and you're gonna insert this into the square cutout on the frame to the driver's side of your spare tire. All right, you just wanna get it so that the threaded hole is over top of the smaller hole. It's a bit rusty so it can be a little difficult. From there, grab the bracket and the red isolator, and you're gonna insert it up here with the hanger pointing to the outside of the vehicle on the driver's side. All right, and then take the bolt, flat washer, and lock washer, and screw it in up there. Now we can tighten that down. All right, so I'm gonna use my 14 millimeter wrench to tighten this guy up. For this next one, you wanna bring over the pipe that goes around your spare tire carrier slide it into the pipe that we installed on the muffler outlet, bring it up here, and connect it to that isolator that we installed. All right, and then you're gonna hang it up into that isolator that we just put on the frame. All right, tighten down that clamp. Next up, let's do our driver's side coming out of the muffler. All right, put your clamp on the end of that muffler and then your pipe. All right, now for this pipe, you wanna make sure it's pointing straight up when you're installing it. Just like that. So it's angled toward the isolator there. Next up is the over axle pipe that we're gonna connect the isolator end to that pipe. All right, so now we can focus on our exit style. Since this kit has two different styles, we're gonna start with our side exits. I'll show you guys how to do that, and then I'll show you how to swap them over to the rear exit uh, and show you how easy that is uh, to do whenever you feel like it. All right, so slide the 90 degree pipe that it points to the outside of the vehicle. Make sure you have that slid on, and then make sure our clamp is in position as well. All right, so we're gonna tighten that guy down. Just make sure it's angled properly out of the vehicle, not up into the bumper. All right, tighten that clamp down. Next up is gonna be the same side exit pipe for your passenger side. Slide that guy on, again, make sure it's angled properly and tighten your clamp. All right, so now we can slide our tip in place, starting on our passenger side here since we're already over here. This is gonna be a 10 millimeter bolt and 10 millimeter nut, so grab the appropriate socket and wrench. All right, so here's your tip on the driver's side as well. We're gonna slide that on so you guys can see how this works, and that's gonna be your side exit. At this point, if this is the exit style that you want, tighten down all your clamps. If not, 
I'm gonna show you guys how to swap them to the rear. All right, at this point, guys, let me show you how to switch the tips over from the side exit to the rear exit. So we've got this loosened up. I'm gonna pull this exhaust off. All you're gonna have to do is loosen this clamp, pull the side exit pipe off, swap it with the rear exit, and then put your tip back on. It's that simple. You can do this in about two minutes. So I'm gonna grab my 15 socket, loosen this clamp, and swap it over. Now they're curving a certain way, so you wanna make sure it's curving toward the outside of the vehicle so it doesn't come in contact with the frame at all. All right, so now let's tighten this guy down. Tip. All right, and then with the tip on, let's tighten that down and repeat on the other side. All right, tighten down all your clamps, make sure everything's aligned and you're good to go. That's gonna wrap up my review and install for the dual exhaust with black tips with both the side and rear exit styles available for the 09 to 10 54 F-150. Get yours right here at americantrucks.com.